welcome to another week in our garden. It's a lovely fresh day, birds are singing, a little bit of wind and I know we're going to have quite some cold winds coming through in the next day or so and after that it should warm up. Now this week we're going to put up the frame or tunnel that we put the pumpkins and squashes on and we might put one or two other things on it as well. The other thing we'll do, we'll plant up those celery that are just about ready now so they can go into one of the tunnels and we'll have a quick look in the greenhouse, show you how things are getting on in there. Now to put the frame up, what I do is I put the top, which is over there, in situ and then mark out where I need to dig the four holes. So I've dug the four holes, they're approximately two feet deep, but they're down to the clay bed. Now any clay that I dig out the hole, I put separate so I can put it back in first, okay? And then we'll lift the side walls up and now drop them into the holes. Now that's the first frame stood up. I'm just going to put a clamp on it so it doesn't blow over. There's a little bit of wind, but it just hold it steady for now. Now that's that one with a pop either side because it is a little windy so we don't want it blowing over. I'll be safe for a minute or two. Now we'll pop the other side up, making sure they both match nicely. I just put a quick prop in this side just to hold it steady because as I say there is a bit of wind. There you go. Now we need to adjust the legs so they're at the right width so we can get them nice and straight ready for when we put the top on. Okay. All I'm going to do at this stage is put the, the legs at the right width and then we'll put the spirit level on and level them up. As you can see, it's quite a, quite a distance out. And a little bit that way, I think. That's that one though. Now we'll do the back one. No serious measuring because it's only for the garden. That's about in line, I think. Just keep your eye on your props while you're doing it. Right, so I'll just put the the spirit level on. It's just roughly. I don't want it too too spot on just yet. We'll just go round them all. It's only approximate at this stage, but it will make lifting the top on a bit easier if there's something like in line. What we'll do, we'll lift it on put the clamps on it to hold it and then we'll adjust it for level. Now that's the two sides propped and sort of upright but I know that they're not splayed so the top will go on.
to let something like up. Now I quickly put the clamps on to make sure it's held firm, then we can get it nice, level and true, ready for screwing together. All right, I'm going to put the heavy clamps on the centres now and then I'll get back to you when they've got it on because I need Diane to hold for me. There you are then, that's, that's as good as level for me today. Right, we'll backfill now, we'll put the clay soil from the bottom of the holes back into the hole first, put top soil on top and we'll put the corner brackets on just to hold it nice and steady. And then I think it's time for a cup of tea. Just going to put half a dozen screws in the top, just to hold the top down. And then we'll put the corner pieces on. We're done. <laughs> right, that's the pumpkin squash frame up. I put the corners on, just hold it that little bit firmer. This is now complete. We'll put the plants in next week. And it, we're just starting to rain, so we're going to nip into town and do the food shopping. So we'll see you later. Hello there, Friday today. Been raining, as you can see on the panes, all morning. But we've managed to have a little bit of a dry spell, so we've popped out just to close down the video, okay? Now, we said we'll come in the greenhouse to show you. As you can see, there's still very congested. The peas are germinating well. Looks very good, those. As you can see, the tomatoes are, are really underway. I've had to put sticks in the taller ones. Now, this year I've done a little bit different on the compost mix that I've used for tomatoes. An old guy told me that if you mix some really good leaf moulding with your tomatoes, they do better, and he's won lots of shows. So I took him at his word, I put it in, and they love it. They really do get stuck in and get going. These ones that are 9 or 10 inches high are all bearing flowers by the way so they're not going to have their first truss way up the stem. Now we'll pot some of the tomatoes up next week into the blue boxes that we grow them in in here. Also we'll put the pumpkins and the squashes seed in next week and get that undergoes because we're in the beginning of May we want to be putting those out here at the end of May so we we'll need that seeding next week but everything else in the greenhouse is doing quite remarkable I'm very pleased with it this year now we're forecast some very cold weather over the bank holiday weekend here where the wind is going to come direct from the north and they've said we're going to get some frost in the morning. So we need to ridge those potatoes up. Well, I've started them so we'll go down and finish those. The other thing we're going to do is put the celery in. Well, if the temperature is going to dip below 10, which it will easily around here, they'll run to seed so they've actually gone in the shed for the weekend for the bank holiday and then we'll put those in when the temperature lifts a bit after this cold spell. While we're passing I just thought I'd show you the lilac bush that's coming into flower now and it smells absolutely beautiful fantastic perfume of it. I do believe its name it's French, like a French lady. I'm not sure. I will look it up at some stage, but the perfume is absolutely gorgeous. Now we've got ourselves down the garden between showers, I do believe. Now, I'm sorry about the noise from the bypass, but the wind is blowing from the north so it actually blows the sound across us more. Yesterday there was no sound at all, 
but today we can hear the bypass so apologies for that and now let's get these taters ridged up I have done quite a few as you can see and left one row still to do well one and a half rows actually now normally I'd let the potatoes get about six to eight inches tall before I ridge them but because of this cold weather I've decided to ridge them now now if they are at this size and they do get frosted normally they get over it but it's still a check to their growth so it's easier to cover them and keep them growing within a week or so they'll be popping back out the top anyway I use the rake to ridge the potatoes I find it a lot easier some people use a hoe uh, you can use that four prong rate but I use this one okay just a case of pulling it up and you can see how important it was to get your spacing right so you've got plenty of room to do this just pull them over the top turn and go down the other way doing these two rows Still a bit lumpy lot yet but it's with all the rain we've had and it's just penetrating enough to do it. I just tied it up behind me. That's the potatoes ridged up. I will ridge them once more when they put a little more growth on. Say if they get six inches above this then we'll ridge them again but this time We'll put some potato fertiliser in the ridges and then we'll ridge them up so the potato fertiliser actually goes onto the potatoes. And apart from that we need some lemon slugs on but it's a little bit early and a bit too cold yet. But as and when we'll put that on. Now uh, that'll be about it for this week. Have a good bank holiday hope the weather's a little bit more kind to you what is it it's getting a bit cold now enjoy your bank holiday many many thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing we do appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you next week bye now